Welcome on board Britannia. We are just hours away from welcoming the first passengers on board. I couldn't be more delighted to show you my brand new glass house. Just behind me is a taster dinner area where we pair wine and food. You can see Mr. James Martin is just having a nibble in there himself. He's given, yeah, he's given the thumbs up. He's loving the food, absolutely loving it. And over here, the hub of the glass house. 32 wines, all served by the glass. You can mix and match them. We've got them in flight so you can experiment with certain themes. Or you could just hop on over here, have a look at the atrium, the starburst. This is the hub of the ship, the kind of social heart where everyone gets ready to go out or they gather. It's utterly beautiful. You can see the last preparations are getting ready just before the celebrations tonight for the Black Tie Gala. Look at this. What's going on behind the bar, chef? Yeah. Awesome, chef. Yeah, another one. Uh, what are you having? Bit of a martini? Pint? Yeah, pint of martini. It's a Yorkshire head on it, but there you go. Cheers. Oh, the best beer in the galaxy. Right, on with the show. I will show you my inner lair, my kind of Bruce Wayne sanctum. Not only wine, I should say, on board. I've launched two beers as well. The Rocky Head Pale Ale, uh, which is a kind of a craft beer, really punchy, beautiful. It's like a mango the size of the moon. And then we've got Jolly Ollie Golden Ale, which I invented for my birthday. Delicious, made by Harvey's of Lewis, my hometown. Over here, we've got the lair. In here, taste your way around the world. This, for me, is where I can really bring wine to life in an intimate setting, but look at this. English sparkling wine from Whiston Estate. This is the beauty that tomorrow Her Majesty the Queen will smash against the ship to name her, and I couldn't be more proud that it's gonna be an English bubbly doing the job for Britannia.